So one of the other things that we have to deal with in Alaska in the winter, besides the cold, uh, tonight it's all negative two, is the fact that we have limited sunlight. So it is currently actually 5 p.m. and I wasn't able to get away during the day for a ride today. So instead we go night biking. So light on the bike, but you can see down there. Well, I thought we were filming there as we were riding, but it looks like maybe not. So I'm gonna get my glove back on here because it's a little bit too cold. To ride without my gloves. I'll do enough here to hang on. This is what winter, snow, cold, and let's add one other element in the dark cycling's all about. So I'll just give you an idea of what this track can truly do. So this is where a snow machine passed through one time. And because the snow is cold, it firms up and freezes very well. Which means, well, means that I'm stuck there. But I'll see if I can extract myself from this little problem here. And well, this is hard to do with one hand because I can't steer <laughs> as well as I would like to. Alright. One more try. See if I can get this last little section tape. That's our problem right there. Alright. See if we can get a solution here. There we go. And woohoo! Back out on the on the main trail. I do make use of two headlights, which I mentioned. The one is actually on my bike, which you can see down there. But I've also got one on my head. And the main reason for the one on my head is as you're cycling along and you come to corners and places where the headlight on the front doesn't go, it's nice to be able to have the one on my head to then look around the corner because that's where, needless to say, about the first time I don't, one of our fuzzy little furry friends might be out there. And... We all love each other, but not enough to want to unexpectedly encounter each other. I've been curious about the tracks we got out here tonight. Well, some of these tracks, they make sense. Those are people. But looking around, this one right here is actually a lynx. And there you can 
see a little better imprint of that lynx. Get out of the way. So we do have a lynx running around here. Some of these are ski poles. But it's good to see that we got a little variety going on. Ooh, that's kind of a cool shot. One of the other reasons I stop periodically is, despite the fact that it's, oh, two degrees below zero, you actually get heat buildup. And heat buildup leaves, leaves, ah, heat buildup goes to perspiration. And perspiration or sweat is just not what you want when it's this cold. So I'm just letting a little of the heat kind of evaporate off me. But we're going to get back on the beast here, which you can see in the light there. And there we go. You can see the, the beast is raring to go. Those are what those fat bike trikes tires look like. Kind of. Well, as you can imagine, it's cold, and the cold does take a, a toll on your electronics. So shortly after this last sequence, went to kind of record the conclusion of tonight's ride, and, well, the battery was dead. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing if you have. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever one seems appropriate to you. But thanks for coming along on our full-fat journey as we continue to explore my full fat.